Hello, Jane 2012 here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at a toy today, yeah, so basically I'm going to give you a bit of backstory. If you know me, then I'm pretty sure you know that I'm a pretty big Toy Story fan, I mean like, I remember back then, back in 2010, after watching Toy Story 3, when it first came out here, where I live, um, it was like, I was like, oh my god, this is a pretty awesome movie, I really can't wait. And when I watched it, I was like, holy crap, that was, like, the best film ever. and Which it actually is. Like, the best Pixar film so far. Yeah. That and Inside Out, of course. Uh, anyway. I have, I have a toy I'm going to take a look at. I have a couple of toys. I mainly got those toys because during Christmas of 2010, when I wanted to get pretty much all the toys, three toys, and I was like, well, I got a couple of toys. I mean, I have them... I was and I was going to look at all the ones I have until I realized that one of the toys, which is the Woody one, pretty much has a broken um, batteries. And I was like, which is weird considering the fact last time I tried them, it was like perfectly normal. Although maybe maybe it'll be like this um, for the rest of the its life. Yeah, I hope it doesn't. But anyway, I'm going to take a look at Buzz Lightyear because it, to be, I, cause that and to be honest, um, it's the most interesting one of the lot. Okay, I got to wait way for. I got to put the box correctly. This, this beast. Oh. Stand still. Yeah, I get the idea. Um, yeah. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger. Basically, um, yeah, it's off right now, but yeah. Uh, basically, this is sort of the things that I was like. I was like these Toy Story collection brand. Basically, these. This is a sort of. This is a sort of series of toys created by Thinkway. Which, by the way, is a freaking awesome toy company. I mean, they, I mean, they make a couple of great Toy Story toys, and if I believe, if I remember, they also made a couple of Despicable Me toys too. Basically, they made made a couple of Toy Story toys, and there was a price it on too. I think that said exclusive at Tesco or something. Yeah, and yeah, basically, I had a lot of fun get, getting all these. I got the Tilty Eight Felt version one. I, actually, I wasn't planning to get that one. I mean, like, I mainly got this mainly to replace the ones that I used to have. Well, I had two Toy Story toys: the Buzz Lightyear and Woody, and those ones weren't great to say. I got this one because anyway, the packaging here looks pretty good. This is the only one I kept the packaging for actually, because this is like, the most interesting stuff. I'm a thinking toy. That's a brand, but yeah, it's a series. And in the back, we have this sort of stuff. Buzz, Buzz Lightyear here, I'm stationed in the Gamma Quadrant of Sector 4. As a Gamma of the Elite Universe Protection Unit of the Space Ranger Corps, I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion from the evil Emperor Zerg, sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance. Basically, it's the sort of thing that was featured in the back of the box of Buzz Lightyear in the film, if I remember. And this is apparently all these, and here we have them. All the features we have, we have the helm, we can, you can use the helmet, there's the buttons, the... The utility belt, you, have to, you can fly and you can actually connect, connect to Star Command and it comes in that certificate of authenticity which I happen to have hanging on my wall right now along with the rest of the toys are certificates yeah it's a hugely posable deluxe film replica from Disney Pixar's digital data that's actually pretty good considering in fact if it's from that data then that's pretty good because you're going to expect them something you're going to expect Tim Allen, or something sounding like Tim Allen. Anyway, it must be Tim Allen, because you actually get Pixar data. You're going to expect something that sounds just like the movie. I can't wait. Digital voice, over 60 settings. Interactive winds, helmet, belt, and wrist communicate. Highly posable with pop-out wings, glow-in-the-dark trim. Multiple lights, and SFX. Oh, glow in the dark as well. Oh, I think I remember it was glow-in-the-dark as well. I'll have to turn the lights down for this. And film inspired spaceship package, which is this, with wings included. It tells us to open the package carefully from the bottom of the reuse for display, which is exactly what I did. And here we go, gonna open it. It was easy to open than expected. Ta da! Here's a good old buzzy. We'll take a look at him later. Here's the instructions. The Buzz Lightyear instruction guide. We had the highly puzzle Disney picture. Yeah, we had all this sort of things. We had the butt. We explained what they are. They're going to a trim. Oh yeah, I forgot that was there. That was a trim. This is a certificate. We have basically instructions. Here we explains what these are. 
wings with lights too. Proper ones. You have a hyper sleep, you can go that goes to sleep. Interactive space ranger mode. Talk back and utility belt. Which is which is the one from Toy Story 2. You remember though you know, there was a different Buzz Lightyear there too when you know the Buzz Lightyear that was basically thought he was a toy just like Buzz was when when he first started out. Uh, those were the good times. You can make him fly too. You know, these are stuff that adults usually read before they give it to their children. And, uh, here's good old Buzzy himself. Anyway, underneath we have the switches. We have the on, off, and demo modes. I never understood what there is a demo mode anyway, because frankly, the fact that if that's the case, then that means they're going to limit the people to the other things. And I didn't even think there was going to be any switches from there. Here, let me get the. Gotcha. Here, I'm going to press buttons. And that was the laser. Whoa. Lens flare on the camera. Anyway, we can we can press you can press these buttons and then you can do all sorts of stuff. Well, oh, here we go. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. Ah, I was Buzzy. Buzzy. Yeah. Anyway, press any of the oval buttons. Press this one. I think this one's just the main one. No readout yet. If the air is breathable, I better keep my helmet closed. Okay. Anyway, anyway, red button. I am Buzz Lightyear. Makes him make make him speak lines from the film Buzz as if he was a toy. To the There's a secret mission in uncharted space. Yes. <laughs> yeah, those things. It makes him look as if it makes him like a toy, and so yeah. Um, and if you open this, you get you get a nice little mission log. Of space, space command, spark command, gamma sector four. Okay, so let's just go back onto there. Let's go to this button. Maybe we just see some interesting stuff. I am Buzz Lightyear. Oh, yeah, space you notice the the head moves too, and let's see, it's turned on this button. This button turned on the microphone. Buzz Lightyear signing off. Going on. Buzz Lightyear reporting for sector duty. Oh, I see. Let's turn on the microphone. Can you hear me? Can you? I don't know why I'm doing it. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Oh, yeah, the laser, the laser that we showed you already. This is basically something that they showed in the other things, too. Is there a microphone on there? Oh, yeah. Who's there? Oh, it's you, fellow ranger. Yeah, it is. Let's see. The utility belt does this. Initiating full perimeter sensor scan of Sector 1. <laughs> All well, those other things, too. Excellent. Moving on to Sector 2, proceed with scan. Yeah, there are some things that the Buzz Lightyear here doesn't have, though. You know, I think in the movie, if you press I the... I am Buzz Lightyear, Universe Protection Unit. Okay. I've been equipped with the latest in multi-purpose utility belts. As I was saying, the, but this button doesn't actually open the doesn't actually open the shield. It's just this All right, Ranger, home the helmet. Code 546. Does, actually, you open the helmet. You just open it like this. <laughs> the air is a toxic. How dare you open a spaceman's helmet on an uncharted planet? My eyeballs could have been sucked from their sockets. <laughs> Those are, that's, that's word for word for what he said in the film, the first one. And then we close it. Switching to internal air supply. Yeah. And it opens again, I think. The air isn't toxic. We're going to keep it open for now. We're going to see what else is there. On the back. Crap. I don't care. Thank you. I would prefer some quiet time. I don't care. Anyway, let's talk what else is there. Stand back while I power up my laser. Let's talk about the toys and that. Go infinity and beyond. Anyway, let's go to toys that Buzz Lightyear doesn't actually hear me. Or switch I off am the... Buzz Lightyear. Oh, yeah, I forgot. If we press this, I come in peace. The green. Okay, I don't know why. Anyway, let's check out the the sort of you have you have articulation in the light in the arms, and it's pretty interesting. You can there's these sort of balls joints you can see, and let's see the fingers are pretty good too. Yeah. There's no articulate. There's not any. There's not really any articulation in. Oh, here we go. I think. It, oh, there is articulation in the legs. I've forgotten about that. But frankly, it's not that fantastic to be honest. 
But well, you can't make him make bend his knees, which is a bit of a shame. You make him do that though, and you can do the same. You can do the same thing on the right arm as you could do with the left arm. Yeah, his his thumb isn't isn't movable, but I don't care. Anyway, we're back to this mode. We'll see how he looks. I like. am Buzz Lightyear. Let's go look how, how it like in the. <coughs> Wait a minute. I'm receiving a communication from Star Command. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Basically, this this sort of thing is basically what them. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Gamma Sector Core. Seven, I've Gamma got Sector an AWOL core. Space Ranger. Right then. Right, this laser is really strong. You know what I haven't shown you yet? Before we go on to it, I'm going to explain to you the. Um, You're breaking ranks, Ranger! I want to explain to you that the fact that. Um, go on. Buzz Lightyear, signing off. Anyway, um, let me go on to the, the other things. You know, in the film, he had a karate chopping action. Unfortunately, in this film, he doesn't seem to do it, able to do it, nor can, does he have the articulate, proper articulation to do it. Which is a shame. He probably shouldn't do that because he might break his, his arms. Yeah, anyway, and you know what I haven't shown you yet? Switching off internal air supply. You might as well show you. Anything. You just show off the epic but things with the big red button. We must follow him. Let's go. Yes, lights. You know, I can't be able. I can't bother be able to do this sort of flying on around this area. I might as well just show off the stuff around the behind me. Cause why not? Here we am. We're gonna show off this area now. Okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm Buzz Lightyear. I'm always sure. I'm just gonna switch on. Buzz Lightyear, reporting for sector duty. Buzz Lightyear, signing off. Oh wait, never mind. Buzz Lightyear, reporting for sector duty. Okay, now let's play. Okay. Does it does it fly whenever you like hold on to something? Let me see. Let's close the wings and then reopen them again. Right, we're gonna go back to the swing. This galaxy needs my protection. Right then. To infinity and beyond. We're gonna fly wing, flying. Hello. You sort of see sort of wings features. Sector 12 is safe. Mission accomplished. Do that. Let's go fly some more. That's actually even more fun. That's, even, that's actually fun than I thought. Sector 12 is safe. Mission accomplished. Right then, so that's the flying thing. There's only one thing left to check out though. Is does Buzz Lightyear actually glow in the dark? Intergalactic emergency, no time to lose. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Let's switch off the things first. Don't know if you can actually see this, but uh, ready. Target locked. Fire. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Um, you can't see it from here, but because it's like extremely dark and it can barely see anything underneath. Good pull perimeter secure. Buzz Lightyear. Standing down. Well, basically, it, it really does glow in the dark, trust me. There's no, there's not, not much. I am Buzz Lightyear, Universe yeah, because, Protection Unit. I've you know what I actually never bothered to do? I never bothered to actually make a conversation with Buzz. Let's try doing that now. What are you talking about? You're breaking ranks, Ranger! Just we'll start with that. So, Buzz. I'm Buzz Lightyear. I'm always sure. So, Buzz, how are you right now? No readout yet if the air is breathable. I better keep my helmet closed. So, um, Buzz, how are you? Booyah! Who's there? Oh, it's you, fellow ranger. So, um, have you, where were you, who, who, what are your names of your parents? I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. I guess he's not a very tough boy. Right, anyway. Ranger, it's a code 546. Let's move! Right, then. Let's have more fun with this. And so this, this toy is actually really fun. This is an intergalactic emergency. Right. <sighs> yeah, this is actually a pretty good toy, actually. I recommend you get it if you, like, if you really enjoy Toy Story toys, and especially if you really enjoy um, Buzz Lightyear's favorite character, then why not get it? I mean, it's a really good. It's a really good one. Nice, a nice articulation, and the nice features, 
and and it's actually pretty cool sound effects too. So yeah, I recommend you get it. Okay. If you're gonna get a Buzz Lightyear, especially get it from the um, Thinkway Toys, that's probably the best one to get, to be honest, because Thinkway Toys is pretty much a friggin' awesome company to get toys from, especially the ones <laughs> Toy Story, I mean, like, I swear to it. Yeah. This is Rolligy 2012 signing out.